Released on October 13th, The Case of the Coden Idol is developed by Color Grey Games and published by Playstech. It is a puzzle game with a pixel art style and an engaging story following the events and tragedies surrounding a mysterious golden idol. The game is split into two parts. The first is the exploring phase where the player will search the screen clicking on characters and objects in the environment, looking for keywords and clues to the events being displayed. The second phase is the thinking, where the player has to fill the blank spaces in a spreadsheet with the keywords found, solving the mystery. Finding the majority of the keywords and clues isn't hard since the game is very consistent with the rules on where they are hidden, mostly in dialogues, letters, documents and some objects spread throughout the environments. And while you can solve most mysteries without finding all the keywords, there are a few moments where important keywords and clues are well hidden, which leads to some pixel hunting. The game has a good solution for players that don't want to pixel hunt and just want to get to the thinking phase though. It has a system that highlights clickable objects and keywords, which allows for a very quick search for the keywords necessary to solve the mystery. The thinking phase is where the player will use the keywords collected and fill in the blanks of the text to give a solution to the cases. Although initially the spreadsheets are simple, being about the people involved and a summary of the events that unfolded, as the game progresses, filling the spreadsheets becomes harder and harder, making the player go back and forth reading notes and dialogues again to make sense of the events unfolding. The game does offer help in the thinking phase by offering tips to the solution, but I was always able to get to the solution without using them. The game has 12 stages, and as I said before, with each case the complexity and difficulty grows, with the player having to go through a multitude of screens and interactable things in order to find the solutions. The early cases are very easy and probably won't hold you for more than a few minutes each, but around halfway through the game the cases will start to slow down, especially if you focus on finding all the keywords first and only then changing to the thinking phase. Still, this game will not take much of your time. I clocked close to 6 hours, but I wasted a ton of time on the exploring phase since I wasn't using the highlight help and so it took me some time to find all of the keywords. The thinking phase was often the fastest part and if you choose to use the highlight help, you'll probably be able to clear the game much faster. The pixel art style with cartoonish looking characters in a Victorian setting looks good, but it's not the main attraction of this game. It might be a plus for some people, but the developers were aware that the having characters move around or animate too much would make it a nightmare for players to investigate. The story starts with a murder among two people in an excavation trip where they find a golden idol, and as the story progresses we see the events following said idol and its owners. I cannot talk much more beyond that since the events are all interconnected and it can be very spoilery, so I'll leave it at that. Overall, The Case of the Golden Idol is a fun game with a good story that does a good job of keeping the player interested. Its only flaw is that it is an extremely short game, leaving the player wanting more. Thanks for watching. If you liked this review, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.